I'm Audrey Johns and I'm here in the Lose Weight by Eating Kitchen to make my favorite chili. It's from my new cookbook, Lose Weight by Eating Detox Week. And I like to call it my pretty chili because it's full of beautifying ingredients. So it's a butternut squash chili and my vegan friends, you're gonna love this, it is vegan. However, you can absolutely add in some shredded chicken, um, some shredded beef, you can add a little bit of crispy bacon to the top in the end, um, but for all my vegan friends, this one's for you. Um, so what we're gonna start with is some chopped butternut squash. Isn't that beautiful? What I like to do is whenever I bring home a butternut squash, I chop the entire thing and I put it in a big gallon bag and throw it in my freezer so that whenever I have recipes like this that I want to make, it's really easy. All I have to do is just get my two cups out and I'm ready. Then we're gonna need one red onion and one red bell pepper. So I've already got, I've already made this and in the book I make this in a, on the stove top, but I figured this great ninja um, cooking system that I got a few months ago, it actually browns. And so I thought, well, this will be easier for me to show you um, how to do it right here, as opposed to having to worry about putting my back to you. So we're gonna put it here on the slow cooker and then you know you can also make it in a slow cooker. So I will get to take off and do my mommy duties for the afternoon and be able to come back to a nice dinner. So I do have this on brown right now, on stovetop on high, but if you don't have that option on your slow cooker, just do it on the stovetop and you're gonna wanna go ahead and put about a teaspoon of olive oil into your pan. You're gonna add in your two cups of butternut squash you want it on about medium, medium high, but you want to keep an eye on it. We're gonna add in our onion. And this is so pretty, I love all these pretty colors. And onions and butternut squash and bell peppers are all beautifying ingredients and they also happen to boost your metabolism, so extra score there. So we've got our bell pepper and I like to use red bell pepper. I find that it has a more mild flavor but if you prefer yellow or green, by all means, go for it. So I'm just gonna do bite-sized pieces. I like to make this recipe real easy. Get those ribs out. Here we go. And I like that I can make this in the crock pot, walk away for the day and come back and I've got a really healthy meal. The her serving is quite big on this and it's only 120 calories so I kind of get to be a piggy and have as much as I want and I really 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 love this chili. I love all chili. If you follow loseweightbyeating.com or if you have my first cookbook uh, Lose Weight by Eating in the pink there you already know I really do love my chili so if I get to have as much as I want I'm a really happy camper. Here we go. Okay so through the magic of TV you know, we're gonna go ahead and speed this up. But what we do, let me grab a, woo, I'm gonna mix this together, add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cook this down until the vegetables just start to get soft. It's gonna be really good. And I've already made some so I can show you what it looks like in the end and my house smells so amazing. Um, I'm a Girl Scout troop leader and my cookie mom came by to deliver my box of cookies today and she walked in and she said, oh, it smells so good. So I had to send her home with some chili. <laughs> so this is one of those meals that people walk into your home and say, what are you cooking? It smells amazing. So what you'll do is you'll cook these down until they get soft. That's gonna take about five to eight minutes and then you're gonna add in your chopped tomatoes. Now, the recipe calls for 10 large chopped tomatoes. I was unable to find 10 really beautiful tomatoes, and so I got the smaller ones, and then I just quartered them. So you basically just want a whole lot of tomatoes. You can also use two of the really big cans of tomatoes as well. So it's very versatile, but I like with this recipe that everything is raw when you start, and so you're getting a lot more nutrition. So if you're just joining us, I'm cooking out of Lose Weight by Eating Detox Week. And if you wanna follow along, I'm on page 117, making my butternut squash chili. And it's only 120 calories per serving. So I'm gonna have like 
two or three servings and I'm not even gonna feel guilty about it. I'm gonna be okay with it. So, then you add in, we've already added in the butternut squash and we've added in the bell pepper and typically you'll wait until those soften down but because of where we're at right now, I don't have that time, but that's okay because I'm putting it all in the slow cooker, it's gonna take care of it. If you choose to use your slow cooker for all of this, you're gonna wanna cook it on high for three to four hours or on low for six to eight hours. So this will be perfect. I'll cook it on high, I'll go do my afternoon stuff with my kiddo, and then I'll come back and dinner will be ready. Okay, next I need to add in garlic, four cloves of garlic. And here's a little tip, can you see? I like to kinda smash my garlic first and it makes it much easier to chop. There we go. It smells so good. And I can already smell the bell pepper and the onion cooking. It's gonna be delicious. And because it's chili and it's all cooking down, you really don't need to be precise about your chopping. You just need to kind of get it all in there. It's the only important thing here. So we've got our garlic. And. <laughs> now we're gonna add in two cans of black beans. So um, I like to get the BPA-free uh, cans. Usually those end up being the organic cans. These happen to be 99 cents each, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna drain them and rinse them. And then you're going to add in one cup of vegetable broth, or if you're not going vegan, add in some bone broth. It's really good in here. Chicken bone broth or beef bone broth. You want about a cup. And then two bay leaves. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure to take these out because they don't really taste so good. Eating bay leaves, they're still very tough. So um, after you're done cooking this down right before you serve it, you wanna fish those out and just toss them away. Next, we've got some cumin, about a teaspoon. And a whole lot of chili powder, four tablespoons. But don't worry, it's not gonna be spicy. We're gonna add in the spice later and that part's optional but this is gonna give it a really nice flavor. And then a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. However, here's a great tip. I ran out of nutmeg, and I wasn't about to go to the store just to get nutmeg, and so I'm gonna use pumpkin pie spice. And I know that might seem a little bit weird, but it's so good in this. So just a quick dash, only about a quarter of a teaspoon. So if you don't have it, don't go rushing out to buy it. I'm gonna give it a quick mix, and then I'm gonna add in some heat. This already smells fantastic. An easy peasy dinner. And can you see all those colors? It's so pretty. I love how colorful this is. Wait till you see the end result. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper. Mostly just a little bit more pepper. And then my favorite hot sauce. And I, this is not sponsored, but I am so obsessed with pepper plant hot sauce. I kid you not, I buy it in gallon jugs. And this is all I have left. Look, I need to order some more on Amazon. This is my favorite. It's not too spicy. It has got great flavor. It's all natural. But if you prefer Tabasco or Tapatia, whatever kind of heat you prefer, add in a couple of dashes. And this won't even be too spicy for my kid. It's just going to add a nice flavor to it. And then for doing this on the stovetop, we're going to cover it and cook it for about 45 to 50 minutes. If we're cooking it in the slow cooker, we're going to cover it, put it on low and cook it for six to eight hours or on high for three to four hours. So I'm gonna do that now and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Here we go. I'm gonna do high. Here we go. I love my new slow cooker, it's so fancy. Okay, if you're just joining us now, I'm cooking out of my brand new cookbook, Lose Weight by Eating Detox Week, and I am on page 117, butternut squash chili. I'm gonna show you what it looks like here in the end. Yum! So, it's really, I'm just gonna make it quick mix. Can you see all those beautiful colors and the beans and all these yummy, beautifying ingredients? So, I know I told you this was vegan, so my wonderful vegan friends, avert your eyes. I'm about to add cheese to this. <laughs> um, I like to add a little bit of cheddar cheese 
and I like to add, for some of you, you're, oh, you already know where I'm going with this. For some of you, you're gonna go, huh? Um, this is Greek yogurt. And Greek yogurt, when you, like if you were to take a bite of just Greek yogurt, you would be able to tell the difference between Greek yogurt and sour cream. But when you put it in chili, you cannot tell the difference. So I'm gonna add an insane amount of Greek yogurt. That's the technical term. I love, love, love Greek yogurt. So I'm gonna add like a quarter cup because it's so good, it's good for you. It's metabolism boosting, it's got lots of protein, it's so good for you. And then cilantro is my absolute favorite herb. And I know a lot of people don't love cilantro, so this is all optional. You can also add in some more onion. You can add in some bacon, you know. And honestly, like if you were to do two slices of bacon, chop them up and divide them between four people, that's not that bad. And you get to have bacon and you get to lose weight by eating, right? We love that. And more of my beloved hot sauce that I'm going to have to order. So if the nice pepper plant people are out there, rush it, please, I'm going to need more. So I'm going to enjoy this yummy meal. Again, it's, only, it's under 130 calories per serving. It's filling, it's full of metabolism boosting ingredients, full of beautifying ingredients. I mean, chili that makes you pretty. Does it get any better? I think not. Um, so make sure to get the recipe in my cookbook, Lose Weight by Eating Detox Week. Um, it's on, again, page seven, 117. You can pick it up at Barnes & Noble in the store if they haven't run out yet because they keep selling out. So you might want to call first and tell them you need to order some more because I'm coming by to get one. Um, you can also get it on Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, uh, Target, and Walmart.com, and lots of amazing independent bookstores carry it as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you try out my yummy chili. If you're looking for more of a meaty chili, we do have a um, manly beer chili in the first cookbook, Lose Weight by Eating, the, with the pink banner. And that one, I put IPA in it, and it's so good. So we've got lots of chili options for you at Lose Weight by Eating. You can also visit us at loseweightbyeating.com. Make sure to follow here at Lose Weight by Eating with Audrey Johns on Facebook, and happy cooking.